Hi everybody and welcome to Euro Channel. Being over 50 can be burdensome sometimes. You don't consider yourself as being old, but there is a rising awareness that for some strange reason the world around you is looking younger every day. But what defines youth? Why do we perceive some people as being old even if we only see them from a distance? Is there anything you can do to fight the law of gravity and bodily decay? You know the answer is yes, otherwise I wouldn't be doing this video. My name is Stefan Buntrock, I'm a urologist, sexologist and finally, ta-da, I got my degree in sports medicine as well. Recently I passed the certification exam in Hanover at the Medical Council after three years of studying classes and medically counseling a sports club. My main sport is golf, so I chose to specialize into golf medicine and also became a certified expert by the title is Performance Institute. If you're interested in golf and experience pain during or after the round, please check out my other YouTube channels, Golf MD and Golf Akuten. As you might have suspected by now, the subject of this video has something to do with sports. Because how we physically exercise has a profound impact upon how we look. But not exclusively. Also eating habits contribute a lot. Smoking and extensive exposure to sunlight will make your skin age at a rapid pace, thus making you look older. At young age, the body is usually working at its best. It won't get any better. Even if you're a couch potato, if you keep your weight, you will still have a pretty decent physical function. But it won't stay that way. Before you know it, aging kicks in and if you are physically inactive and overweight, you will start to look old sooner than you might think. Look at these two men. Would you have guessed that they are exactly the same age? I wouldn't. Both of them are 63 years. And without seeing their faces, we can tell that one looks very much younger than the other. Which brings us right to the point. Whom we perceive as young has a lot to do with silhouette. When we look at someone from a distance, silhouette and the way people move tell us a lot about their age. It has to do with stereotypes that come with experience in life, because we have learned how men look when they reach a certain age. The typical V-shape of the body is decreasing. Many men lose a lot of muscle mass around the shoulders and gain some pounds around the waist and hips. So just from noticing someone with that body shape, we automatically make assumptions about their age. But if it's that simple, why not make use of it? If you don't fit into people's stereotypes, it will be much harder for others to guess your age. But how do you change? What do you have to do? Basically, it's about establishing a healthy lifestyle as early as possible in your life and sticking to it no matter what happens. Eat healthy with lots of vegetables and only little meat. Drink enough water, never smoke, avoid sunbathing, get enough sleep and train regularly. So far so good. Training is tricky though. The best way to start a physical exercise program is to get a sports medical checkup. This is to make sure that you are not at risk for any adverse events while exercising, be it cardiovascular events or injuries. By the way, the best way to get tested for mobility issues would be a standardized approach, such as the functional movement screen. If you feel pain with certain movements, a selective functional movement assessment would be of much help to identify problematic areas. If you have never worked out in your life, it would be best to start with instruction. A proper workout program targets all areas, cardiovascular, strength, flexibility and coordination. Because you've got to remember, your body will transform according to what workout you choose. If you only do cardio, your silhouette is going to look like this. If your goal is to look like this, well, train that way. By the way, I've already uploaded a video on Nordic walking. This is an excellent cardio workout, which also does a lot for the upper body. Finally, I know that there are numerous limitations to what I've just said. There is genetics, chronic illnesses and disabilities and many more. But in general, this approach would work for many. The problem is how to put a plan like this into action. I am convinced that virtually anything can be accomplished if one decides upon a goal and pursues it with perseverance. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.